gamma is. And I just suggest that every one of these, when you have time, you can't do this forever. You just go to Google and do hyper and understand what it does, knowing that you do have a camera to shoot in Hyperlock. Okay, that's why I tell you, the only reason I'm giving you this, because I have three or four other people want to buy it. Shane was going to buy it. I'm going to have to call him and say, oh, Kevin got it. Because he needs to go from the camera he has, which I have one of them too. He's shooting. And move up to the real boy shit. And this is still micro four thirds. Right. So, so I might talk to him about, you know, kind of helping to consult me on. Uh, yeah, because his spin menus are exactly the same. Yeah. It's just that his, his right. lens. Because so, what we're talking about is some type of um, curriculum that will allow people and to see. understand. Because, see, everybody should learn this even though they may never shoot but they need to know the, all the, the nuances of, of the, the things industry. that will create the product that the client is looking gonna for. going to ask for. Yeah. So here, now we're, we're in V-Log. You see what V-Log does? Mm -hmm. You only can change two things on there. What's that, what are those? Um, noise reduction and sharpness. Now, I have peaking, peaking on this. Peaking is when you color. You can set any color you want. That lets you know the stuff is in focus. That's for old guys that can't... See, I have it where... Because I shoot nothing but manual focus. I don't do auto focus. But I want to show you something that I put in here. So you're getting a real bonus here. So you got V-Log already built in. You had to pay for that extra. When you shoot this, I put the LUT in the camera. So when you're shooting the client come up, you're showing what it really looked like. So watch this. So we got this. So we're going to go back out here. And now we set the V-Log, right? I'm going to shoot this area here. Just for the hell of it. Just a little bit of it. And it shouldn't have done this on this anyway. I don't know. I changed this back to standard thing. So you might have to set it back. Because it's supposed to. Come on. Yeah, it didn't. I have it set in on, on the chip. You'll see it. It's a little thing set in here that reads this with the LUT on the chip. So when it reads V-Log back and the customer comes, it plays it the way it would be edited. Because they don't want to see no gray shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you see, see, I know what happened. No, I can do this right now. So I won't waste all this time doing this, but hold it. When you go in here and you go down to the cursor... This one, is it this one, online, time, date, view online, monitor, frequency, TV connect, convert, activate, double slot, restore, refresh, clean, level, no. What are you looking for? I'm looking for where I can change what's on the, uh, this. I'll find it. Just hold on. One second. That's under. See right here. V-Log. It's under the I. V-Log. View Assist. You click on here and it asks you which one you want to use to see it. And I'm going to say read let file. I bought this. This guy's from Australia. He's a fighter pilot. He's the baddest boy out there making LUTs. So this LUT is on here. So I'm going to click that. Save the, this. Reading the LUT data. So now when we play that back, it'll look like it was edited on your computer. Mm. That's for the clients when they're running over your shoulder. You want it gray. And let's say, okay, read the LUT. See, this is a V-Log 709. They, they got all kinds of LUTs, but we want this LUT. Okay? Cool. And? What was that you just pushed? This goes back. Okay. That's the back key. I'm going to make sure it's on. Okay, now let's go back. Now let's go play that file. See if I did what you did. See? Different whole color. Ain't gray. Mm. Okay? So it's filled in everything. So this is the way it's supposed to look. And then you would lighten it up on your machine, tweak it. 
but the client is standing over your shoulder, they don't want to see no gray files. You see what I'm trying to say? So all this is built in here that you're getting from me because I ain't going to wipe the disc clean or nothing like that. I just, just whatever. So now, let's get back to this. So in here, see, we're at the screen looking at it. This shows you the little squares. Shows you all the videos you shot already. You click there, see, I'm all in there. And see all these other ones now. We did that one. Let's do this one. That's in my office. No, see, it didn't do it because it wasn't on there. But anyway, let's go back. So what you do is you hit this to go to the thing. Here's the videos, and you click on them. You click on there, and you just touch them. Come on. Why is it going over there? I probably got for touch screen. Anyway, here, let me do it one more time. Just so you can see. Let's go to delete. Delete, and it asks you, do you want to do a single one, a multiple one, or delete them all? I'm going to leave a little few for you, though. So we can say multiple ones. You don't care about this one, this one. And we got these little ones we play. And you see you see this what's happening? When I take my hands across the screen, it went across the screen. There you go. You have a button here that if you want just the eyepiece or to see this or both. Because sometimes if you're used to using the eyepiece in film, you don't need to be burning up your battery running this. And you can switch them back. See, there's some okay. more dials. There's so much dials, you'd be like... William, why you do this to me? And wait till you get to this one. It has the same thing, but it's cool. Okay, so I'm getting rid of that one, that one. I'll leave my little house for you. Um, let's leave the one that... How God treats you, how God didn't treat you. And this is only on this one disc. Okay? You say, yes. So we want to get rid of those. Now we want to go in here again. De delete multiple see how you got this one this two mm -hmm. this is this one we want this two those are actual pictures i took dark picture light picture blah 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 because i got it set up which you'll go in there and say i see it put all my pictures jpeg raw on this second disc Leave all my video on the first disc. Right. Okay. 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 But you could do it where it's like you're doing a long, long shoot. Now you know you got what to say. Now we change the settings. So look at this. You got to do this. We change the settings. We back at the settings. Oh. Yeah. So now that we change the settings to 150 megapixels a second, it cut it in half to what it was. Because the other one was just 4K. I mean, right. you know, HD. This is 4K. But that's per chip. Now, here, see this thing? And people have a real problem with this. This this button right there. Display. Okay. You click display. And what happens when here, this tells you you got two discs. One has an hour and 48 minutes. One is 52 minutes. You're shooting vlog using that. Um, white balance. This is your whatever. This is what you run. Manual focus. ISO is 800. Blah, blah, blah. This is all your information. What happens when you're doing this sometimes, you click it again and the screen goes black. Why is that? Because that's the way they make the machine. So, so you click it again and you bring it back. Oh, see, you're, you're, okay. kind of, you're intelligent, young okay. man. You click. I've had more people call me. The screen went black. I don't know what to do, but just click the thing again. Okay. And I do this so condescending and normal, like, just click it again, and then it comes back. This is for you to go read. But they have also a quick menu button. You click this button, and it gives you all the stuff to camera. So here's all those things we were saying. Mm -hmm. And so we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're on V-Log. But what about if you want to be on V-Log? You go there, you just, come on. Let me tell you how I get. There you go. There's HG. And it shows you. If you look at the 
thing. So I say I usually shoot. Me personally, I shoot on V-Log and Natural. That's what I like. Natural. So you just click it. V-Log and Natural. Okay. And, click. and that changes instead of going through the menus. But you're going to end up setting the camera up because what I did is set this dial up. One is natural, one is V-Log, one is this, and you can do it on the dial. So I'm going to show you, go in here and set up the dial and all these buttons. So then I just hit the hand, my hand, and what they want. I got four things here. I click this to get rid of this thing. Click this to do this. Click this to do this. And it's bad. I, I, said, I said, if I do this, you're going to have to learn how I do it. You need to do like if you bought the camera. You need to figure out how comfortable. And I know you want the kids to learn. I'm telling you. You need to learn first. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you bring the kids on because there's so much in here you ain't going to know it all. But it's enough to give them a direction because once you get this set up, you got to go to the other point. Okay. And you're going to say, I like this Sony. <laughs> okay? Because that's what they're shooting the big boys with. But it's just an HD camera. It's not 4K. But what you do with all of this 4K... When you render it out, you render it out 1080, 10 8 so, it so it's the same thing. Yeah. And this, this been, the footage is just unbelievable. Wow. So if you, all right, so you shot with the Sony in HD and you just use the Sony for B-roll to connect to the 4K stuff that you have. You so, can take the HD and stick it in your machine and make it 4K. Right. This is digital. Right, so you can bump you know, it up. but if you bump it up too much, you see the loss. Okay. So that's why people, they're only shooting 6K, so they can bring it back down to 4K. That's the only purpose of it. So here, while we're seeing it. So look how nice your room looks. Look at those colors on that. And see, you, you can get rid of See, I, I set this up where if you hit this button up here, is it this one? I think it's a focus button. No, I had it as a focus button. It's this one. What button is it? Is it up there? Right. You're going you're gonna to set it to what you want it. Mine right here makes the whole screen fit because I do manual focus. See, I had a camera like this, and I want the shit to be sharp. That's why my pictures look the way they do. I don't do none of that automatic shit. But they're, the biggest thing they don't like about Panasonic is the autofocus. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't like it too if you, use, <laughs> if you knew how to shoot. Anybody who shoot film, they have uh, 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 focus pullers. The guy standing there with the little thing, the focus is they doing this. They don't use the camera to do this. They got people with the camera up there and they're watching it. So anyway, look how nice that is. That's a beautiful thing. I'm about ready to change my mind about you. <laughs> so take my shit back home. I was going to sell my one that... Uh, that um, I was going to sell the one that um, Shane has. It's a hell of a camera. And I was mad. And then I thought about it because it's my travel camera because it has built-in ND filters. You got to get ND filters and stuff. But basically, this is kind of what you need to learn on this camera. A lot of shit. Here, let's sit this here because you got to go through. Let me give you the lenses. Okay, hey, no, but I'm going to take a little wider shot with this. I know what I'm doing here. I gave you two or three lenses just for that. Okay. So what's this lens for? I want to look at them. Okay. Well, no, I'm yeah. just setting it up. All so of I'm... these things, I don't know what they are until I pull them out. Oh, okay. This is for the Panasonic. You will know because the back of it will not fit. On the Sony. The Sony's, okay. So I brought you a couple lenses for the Sony, too. Okay. So this is a telephoto lens. And that's why I said, uh-oh. I'm sorry. And when you want to get little stuff for this, go to eBay. Okay. Like so, said, like, I want to get the um. So, what what kind of um what kind of a flash should I get for this? Oh, just I, wait, I'm gonna show you. I got a Panasonic flash. I have a little teeny one. A little teeny one they give you. Take hey, excellent pictures. Because I don't take that many pictures. So I right. So that. the people who are absolutely professional folks who show up, they got the big ones. Yeah. Because that's <sighs> a professional photographer. This is more of a cinema camera. Right. I'm only really interested in uh, video at this point. Cinema. Yeah, that's what this is for. So 
Now, come over here. Bring it. We're, we're pointing to the kitchen. We turn this on my thing. So this is this is a. I want to get this off of here. Come on off of here. I just did this. Which one did? You? Anyway, we look at what they give. You can set this screen on how big you want it. Mask. It's masked out for this. But this is a zoom lens. Okay. Mm. So here we go. And when you zoom, do I still have this set? No. That's what this is for, right here. Oh no, yeah, that's what it's for. Here, so now you got the focus. What happened on this? You'll be able to uh, go in here. Here, where's the focus? Here it is. Go in here and focus this. Okay. And now that's that. So. I'm so if you put it on automatic, would it focus even with uh -huh, the telephone uh -huh. lens? Look, okay. Let's let's get it. What they did for this, and I have this set up for my automatic focus. Okay. When you go through all these things, we went to all these things you go to, but you see this? Mm-hmm. And you see it's blurry. Right? On the screen here. You see that? Mm-hmm. You click that. Come on. Oh, what it is is focus on where you got this square. Okay, so I see the okay. square here. So that's where it's going to... Yeah. Come on, make me a liar. When it says it's green, it means it's in focus. But now it don't look like it's in focus to me. That don't look like it's in focus to me. But you set this up and it'll do it. Here. That's, this is the, your... Okay, one more thing. I don't want to sit over here setting up your computer. Okay, but here, let me go back up here and go to focus. And see, there's seven pages of stuff you're going to have to figure out. Just turn off and on. So this is A and E lock. And what we want to do, oh, and that's this one, right? That button, click on it, and put auto, auto focus. And now they even have auto focus near auto focus far okay but what this does here is I just have it turned on okay now we go back over here look at this up at the up at the thing you click this button and it focuses mm, it's automatic focus <laughs> and that's automatic and focus and the peaking you can change the colors to let you know it's in focus See, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot just for you. Tell me, holding the class next week. You don't. Well, no, no. I, I, yeah, I'm, I want to. Christmas holiday, you might want to hold the class. You know, but you can let them see the. Well, thing. how much? Yeah, so, some of this stuff, if I had you sitting at home and I had a group of students in a classroom. They need th to have hands on. No, but they could be, they would have hands on the camera. So each one of them would take a mm -hmm. chance, I mean, uh, <clears throat> take a turn. Holding the camera, yeah. but you could actually see we, I, if, I, in I, Zoom. Because we could do a two camera shoot in Zoom, so we could actually have them seeing your face. You could see the wide shot, but we can have another shot of Kevin, what it is. I want you to understand this is cool. But I was, when I drove over here and I got up at 8 o'clock this morning and come over here, and by the time I go back, and I'm doing something for a guy to do, they're doing um, what you want to call it? Ritual, um, I'll come in a minute, my mind. But they're doing this thing where you go through. A rite of passage? Age, right? Rite of passage. Yes. And I had to get this to them. I'm just, just docked out of Cleveland. And I told him, he had, he had to hold up. I got to see Kevin. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I have shit to do. All this is cool. I'm working at least 18 hours a day, every day for somebody. Right. Okay, but I'm right. telling you, because you buying it, you gave me a deposit, I said, okay, here's your thing, you have rights to ask me about shit now. You can't just say, well, you know, leave me all this. <laughs> and that's what I was right. trying to tell you. This ain't something you just leave with people. But this is something that Kevin could sit here a day or two that's what I plan on doing before I even, yeah. And, and before. then you introduce it to them. And then, yes, I would be, if I'm down there, 
You say I'll be on the call. I don't know how they do Zooms because they take time up. Right. Well, then, well, especially I, I, if you're doing stuff in L.A., we want to be able to set up. If you can get give us access to the set oh, or for or the we, site, we, 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 we can just set up right stuff. behind you and, and do uh, shadowing. Uh, uh, or once you get the thing, if I know in advance, so I got all these other shoots I can show. Well, that know, that is what I that is what I'm praying time. for is that if we had a chance to shadow some of your shoots. See, so what happened here? Look at the battery. Rather How much time? Look, look, look at it. You oh my it? God! Yeah, we drained it out, man. So guess what? Since you have two batteries, if we go back to this, hit the button. They're showing you the the B battery. It, it's almost dead, right? So okay, do we have a charger or do we have to buy one of those? What did I just see? You don't you listen? You gotta listen. I said, Kevin, I bought you three batteries. Okay. I know, but do we still have a charger? So in case we went along, should okay. I'm gonna give you batteries, but no charger. Uh, well, I'm, yeah. you learned that I'm from the hood, but I ain't, I ain't a hood brother. So here's the battery. Put the battery back in. How much battery time we have? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it. Okay. Refresh. Yeah. Okay. I see it. I see it. Okay. Cool. And, uh, yeah, so let's turn this off. Okay. Here's your HDMI cable. Okay. That's full, huh? That's a full cable, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's a little one. There's another one. Wait, hold on. What's all in here? Hey, here's the charger thing. Here's some of the batteries. Two more batteries. Here's the charger. HDMI cable. You won't need those right away. So let's put this all back. Now. Charger. Charges two batteries since you have two in there together. And it plugs in there and plugs in the wall. Oh, okay. Okay, so you got that. That's what you do with your phone. So that's stuff. the charger for two batteries. Up to two batteries. Oh, I got it. I'll get it. Okay, here's well, another. Let me